In January 1998, the Prime Minister opened the permanent exhibition of the Bradman Collection at the State Library of South Australia. This important contribution to our state's cultural heritage was made possible by the fundraising efforts of the State Library Foundation. But the Bradman Collection is just one of the State Library's many treasures, and one by one the Foundation is raising the money needed to properly display these wonderful collections. The next project is perhaps the most important for people who love South Australia as the wine state. It's wine literature of the world. The State Library's wine literature collection is recognised as the best in the Southern Hemisphere and among the best in the world. The State Library of South Australia's oldest wine item is a leaf from an 11th century German manuscript book which contains punishments for drunken monks. For instance, 15 days on bread and water if you drank so much that you vomited, 30 days on bread and water if when you were drunk you encouraged others to get drunk, and 40 days on bread and water if when you were drunk you vomited the communion wine and sacred host. Ampelographies list and describe grape varieties. You might call them family histories of grapes, and they're often beautifully illustrated. The State Library has a wonderful collection of French ampelographies from last century. With nearly 3,000 books in the Thomas Hardy Wine Library and the Cellarmaster collection of rare wine books alone, the collection includes everything from rare manuscripts to modern reference books. This is a panoramic view showing the vintage procession at the village of Vevey in Switzerland. This one is for 1889. The State Library has a wonderful collection of drinking songs and my favourite is a book called The Buck's Bottle Companion published in 1775. When Bibo thought fit from the world to retreat, as full of champagne as an egg's full of meat, he waked in the boat, and to Charon he said he would be rowed back, for he was not yet dead. Trim the boat and sit quiet, stern Charon replied. You may have forgot you was drunk when you died. Another highlight is the wine label collection with almost 10,000 labels from over the years and from around the world. Hugh Johnson is one of the world's leading wine writers in English, but he's also responsible for putting out a pop-up book at which he is the wine waiter at a dinner at which Winston Churchill, Cleopatra and Napoleon are present. Leo Buring made a visit to Europe to study winemaking practices, and we have the diary which he kept on his visit to Geisenheim in Germany in 1896. It's one of many diaries we have in the State Library about winemaking. The State Library of South Australia is home to the Wine Literature of the World collection, with much of it being housed in the historic Mortlock Library Chamber, one of the most gracious library chambers in Australia. This magnificent new exhibition will feature interactive multimedia displays, as well as treasures from the collection itself, providing a unique cultural experience. In addition to the physical display here in the Mortlock Library, it's planned to digitise the collection and display it on the World Wide Web, so it's available to a national and international audience. With the library's current web pages receiving 15,000 hits per day, this provides an outstanding opportunity to promote our wonderful wine state to the whole world. After the great success of the Bradman Appeal, the State Library of South Australia Foundation is now seeking your support for the Wine Literature of the World collection. Hard to think of a more suitable South Australian project, isn't it?